don't have a line leg curl, or you just want massive hamstrings, let me show you how to do the banded leg curl. All right guys, here we are at Elite. And even though you've seen us use the line leg curl plenty of times, let's say I want something different. Or let's say I'm at a gym that doesn't have a line leg curl, or let's say a group of broccoli headed gym shark bros are on the line leg curl, and it's like 10 of them, and you're like, man, I'm not waiting 30 minutes for that piece. I'm gonna show you how to set this line leg curl up with all you need is a orange Elite FTS band, and 200 pound dumbbells. And then the mat is optional if you don't get your knees beat up. So let's get into it, show you how to set it up, and then show you a few reps. I'm inside a power rack, but honestly, you don't even need a power rack. You just need the dumbbells spaced roughly five to 10 feet apart. So all I wanna do, these are hundreds. I'm gonna raise the head of this one up, slide one under, and then all we'll do is take it across and then under the other. If you have two people, it makes it a lot easier. As you can tell, I've done that a bunch. All right, and then all I'm gonna do is make sure that band is gonna be stacked. So if you look at that, it's straight. So the thing you wanna make sure you're doing here is getting your feet in the right spot. So you need to be relatively in the middle of both, and I'm just gonna loop both of the, the arch of my foot underneath that band. So you can see these are flat-soled shoes, but this band is gonna stay in place because of the tension. So make sure you get your feet in there, even, and right on the bridge of your foot. From there, I'm gonna lay down on my stomach, head down, try to keep neutral spine alignment, and then I'm gonna start my curls. So if you watch those reps, I'm trying to explosively rip those up. Now, I can't get the full contraction, meaning making my heels touch my glutes, but I'm trying to come up to where my upper leg is 90 degrees with the floor, trying to get them all the way up straight, and I'm trying to squeeze those hamstrings. I'm really like bearing down on them to get a huge contraction. Your sets, reps, where to place in the workout. I like this ideally third in rotation of a leg day if I'm focused on hamstrings. So let's say, for example, I have a hamstring and glute day. I'm gonna do a single leg curl to start, a seated leg curl second, and then I'll come to this band third in rotation before moving on to an RDL. Now, on the flip side of that, let's say that I'm doing this on an all around leg day. I will do seated leg curls first, adductor, I do all my quad work, then I come here and do the banded leg curl and some RDLs. Maybe a superset, maybe standalone, or alternating sets would even be a great idea there. So do the leg curl, rest a minute, go over and do an RDL, so that's eight to 12, rest a minute and just follow that cycle for three rounds. That's how I'm gonna do this, guys. I'm gonna rip this up aggressively, control the negative, and I'm telling you, your hamstrings will get so freaking pumped doing this, you won't even miss the cable line leg curl one singular bit. So if you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Christmas TV.